So that was the grommets, and then yeah. we've got the super grommet semi final. Okay, yeah, so that's, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah, it looks. Um, not, there's a couple of nice waves for the super grommets out there. Yeah. Two appropriate ones, even on the inside. There's a couple of opportunities for the young ones. Absolutely. We've got Noah Rollins on the inside there, getting a bit of help from the older boys. And Hardy Fletcher, been keeping a close eye on him, surfing really well in two divisions. And Morrison Parker in the blue. So we will have two rounds of Super Gromit semi-final, then we're into the juniors. So I got a little bit confused with our schedule there, but we are coming down to the business end of the day. And uh, whoever makes it through this round of the Super Gromits will be into the final. And then we've got the juniors, which will be one to definitely keep an eye on, the semi-finals. Then we'll round down to Cadets final and Gromits final. Hardy Fletcher, he got fourth place in the Gromit's national titles this year. Here we go, Red's having a look for this one. Red, right on Red, Hardy. Good Nice roller. roll for the Super Groms. He just has that good technique of being able to push through and finish the Namuva, even when it's not that big a Namuva, which is a pretty crucial thing for competition bodyboarding. Bit of a set coming through at the moment. There's no one in the right position for it. Yeah, the wind's died off a bit and it's just left left a couple nice ones. Here we go, blues on. Just couldn't quite find the right section of the wave. Here we go, got red on the way. Oh, screaming down the line. Oh, he makes it round the section. Just couldn't quite get there for the end. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, good, well done in that last tee. Jump on in, throw a headset on. How did you feel after that heat, mate? Oh, uh, yeah, I felt pretty good. Felt got some nice waves out there. Yeah, you dominated it pretty hard. You, got, you linked a few combos up all the way to the inside. Was that your strategy to just get as much as you can out of the wave? Yeah, definitely. As the tide's now getting higher, you can see you can start to come through with the big ones. Yeah, I noticed so, yeah. there's a bit of strategy in that for you, wasn't it? You pushed through for some sections that it might have felt like you were doing it for nothing, but then when you got yeah. in there, you, you got rewarded with a little peeler, yeah. hey? Yeah, which is good. Yeah, it's always good to scope out scope out the um, the surf before you get out there and notice what's happening. It yeah. gives you the upper edge on everyone else, but it seems like you dominated that heat. You're feeling pretty confident for the final. Yeah, well, if I surf how I did then, I should go all right in the final, so I just need to... Yeah. Get them good ones again. Ah, oh, for sure. You 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 are feeling you feeling positive for it. You're happy to make it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just need to.
go. Go out there, do my best shot. Yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah. Yeah, well, you, you did score the highest scoring wave of the semi-final in the Gromit's division. So Chase, Chase Stewart scored a 16.17, which was the highest scoring uh, combination of waves in the Gromit's semi-final. And in your next heat, you'll have Archer Toms, which surf very good, up from New South Wales. Yeah. And Zaid Taylor, which you surf with all the time. Yeah, yeah, you surf yeah. with Zaid. And uh, looks like Ollie Williams made it through with you as well. So. Yeah. Congratulations, Chase. That was really good to watch your combination manoeuvres. Yeah, and, thank you. And your timing's really good as well, you know. How, how old are you now, Chase, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I turned 13 in June this year, so... 13. Wow, really good, really good. Yeah. No, you're doing really well, and uh, it was, we were really stoked to just watch you in that heat. It was a really good effort. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Well no worries, done. Chase. Yeah, thanks for holding this. Good comp. Yeah, no, no. Thank, problem, thanks mate. to everybody else, mate. We just do the talking, so yeah. it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a great comp without competitors such as yourself. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chase, and all the best for the yeah, finals. Thank you. Have a nice day. Yeah, good yeah. luck in the finals, mate. Yeah. Have a good one, mate. Yep. Good luck. There he is, uh, Chase Stewart, just been dominating uh, his heat and the highest uh, combined wave total for the semi-finals in the Gromit's division. Well done, Chase. Now we are in semi-final heat number one for the Super Groms. And we've got Hardy Fletcher. He's been one of my red hot favourites to watch. Here he is oh, here now. He is. Gunning down the line. Tiny bit of a head dip. Yep. In the red, uh, Hardy Fletcher has been surfing great today. I've been watching all of his heats and uh, he's been a standout for me personally as a commentator. Um, and uh, he's, I think it was Hardy that was 10 years old. It's amazing. Um, Morrison Parker currently in second position in the blue, and Noah Rollins in white in third. Now, if you're just tuning in, here we are at Achugan, Southeast Queensland, Australia, on the Gold Coast for the Future Pros event 2023. Thanks everybody for watching. Drop a like and a share. Get this event out there as much as possible. Share it on your socials because uh, the guys at Absolute Streaming have uh, provided again um, an, an absolutely sensational live stream on YouTube so we can get all these future up and comers out to the world. And like I've been saying, here he is, Van Taylor. Look at this mini Grom run down the beach. He's uh, knee high to a grasshopper. One of the Taylor boys family. Like, look how small these guys are. I didn't know they made bodyboards that small. Um, but you know, they've just been owning it. Like these guys are out the back there giving it a red hot grow. Van is just such a positive um, young man. Like, you know, he's just, so chill in the water and he and he's just on every wave just doing the best he can and it's just such a treat to have him down here at this event today along with the other com, um, competitors in that heat so it will be super grom semi-final number two preparing to paddle out we've still got uh just under 12 minutes remaining in this heat here's a replay that was a nice solid long ride from white there with a good effort on the roll on the end but couldn't quite push through with it but really long ride and you know Put, put that hard work in for the Namuva on the finish. Absolutely, Noah. A uh, very young fella. Here we go again. Red, Hardy, Fletcher. That's a great choice of a wave for a long ride. Yep. Can he hang on to it? Nah, just come off the back. A little, little uh, carve in there. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Here comes the Taylor family down the beach to support Van. Um, uh, yeah. Good on them, they, they're uh, such good people to um, have at the Sunshine Coast Bodyball Club and all the other major events that they uh, travel around with their family of shredding bodyboarders. Looks like we're starting to get a bit of, um, starting to hit that bank a bit harder on the inside here. Bit of a left hand, do you think, or a bit of both? It's a bit of both, that one was a little straight, but over on the left there, there's a nice left hander where you can see that free surf. You might not see it on the video, but that free surfer getting on. And then over on the right, there's a nice right-hander too. Yep. I think um, it's a hard one. They're all sitting in the middle. I, th I feel like it's a little bit straight in there, but, you know, it always feels different in the water to what it does when you're watching it from inside. Especially straight on. When you're looking at it straight on, it's really hard to gauge. Um, uh, yeah, so they seem to be, here we go, rider in blue looking at this one. That's a good opportunity on that one to link right through. Doesn't... 
I haven't pushed through on it and it didn't really have it. Yo, Noah, rider and right, running back up the beach to avoid the sweep. Yeah, definitely a good move running back up the beach with 10 minutes left because sometimes when you're that s small, even when you're large and fully a full adult, it's hard enough to fight the sweep in this size for... Absolutely. I remember going in uh, Optus Pro at Surfers Paradise back in the early 2000s and there was, you know, people like Hardy and uh, and I think Rawlings might have even been in that one and um, I lost my fin. I got one from out the back and got swallowed up in this shorey at Surfers and I had to run back up to the tent, borrow a fin, then run back out. <laughs> and this was when I was in my mid-twenties. And even for me, at my mid-twenties, when I should be in my prime, it was pretty hard work when there's a big sweep running, you know. So good on them. They've got massive stamina and massive, um, you know, massive athletic ability at a very young age. So. There's about nine minutes left of this one. We got Hardy in the first place, Noah in second, and Morrison in third. Still pretty tight heat and um, enough opportunity for anyone to jump through. But as same in all the other semi-finals, only two of the competitors are going to be jumping through to the next to the final round. Which is only in another two and a bit hours. So when Crept, crept up pretty quick. Blues pushed into that second section on the inside. Might have a good little opportunity here. Goes for the rollo, but couldn't quite push through. Been a bit of a lull going on for the last couple of minutes. Hopefully something comes through for the last seven minutes of this heat. Starting to see some of that wind kicking back in. Now, this is the first semi-final for the Super Grommets and Hardy Fletcher out in front and Noel Rollins in the white rashi in second and Morrison Parker in blue in third position. Still with six minutes remaining on the clock and uh, the semi-final number two is preparing on the beach to paddle out now. Here we go, White's pump down the face of that one, but just nowhere to turn into. The nice set wave and might find an opportunity on the inside. But for these young ones, it's um, even just been able to take off on a face like that, it's pretty astonishing. Here we go. Good little carve, little turn on the inside there, making the most of that wave. Very nice, right through to the shore, still with five and a half minutes remaining. And Noah is in second position. Noah's another one who has 
at the Gold Coast Bodyboard Club helping out. He loves jumping in and judging, so cheers to him. He's an absolute legend. Yeah, very good. Currently in second position and well-deserved. Yeah, when you put the commitment in and you ride the wave all the way through to the end, um, you know, you're going to be left with the opportunities and there's only that little bit in it between him and Morrison. So... Mm -hmm. Here goes Van running down the beach. Look at him go. What a frother. The next heat, the next semi-final, heat two of the semi-finals is preparing to paddle out now. It's a pretty uh, pretty long lineup for such a mini grommet. Ryder in red racing down the line. Oh, he's stuck it. Has he stuck it? Yeah, he has. Oh, so nice. Hardy. Oh, he's got the link up again. Right through. Oh, good opportunity there. Wow. Awesome. He took full advantage of it. Hardy Fletcher. He's been one of my favourite up-and-comers. I mean, I, I'm not a judge. I'm allowed to have an opinion. So, um, for me today, uh, for such a young competitor, um, I'd be definitely keeping my eye on Hardy Fletcher. Well done. Not too much longer left of this heat, but still enough time for things to move around. And we've got someone taking off out the back there. I'm not sure if that's a free surfer or maybe a free surfer. There's a couple of guys out there with GoPros, might be the parents even shooting a little bit. Or it might be just people from the flags drifting down. If the Surf Life Saving Club is right next door to us, right behind us, so they're lucky, we are lucky that they've let us set up so close to their flagged area. But it uh, will definitely come in handy with such young competitors, having them on uh, standby so close by. <clears throat> Safety first. Temperature is definitely picked up. If you're just tuning in, I'm Papa Smurf. There's Rob, and we're here commentating for the Future Pros event here 2023 at Chugan Beach on the Gold Coast, Australia. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you're just tuning in, like and share it. Get it out there to the world and uh, show your support to the next generation of up-and-coming shredders. As I've been saying through the day, I, I dare say you'll see one or a few of these guys' names on boards in the future. Um, some of these riders are 10 years old, 13 years old, and just already surfing really good. Ryder in blue, going for a little roll there. Fortunately, not completing. That actually was the Surf Lifesavers catching those waves through before. Oh, okay, yeah. They got their own hybrid booty boggy board surfboard looking yeah, thing. Yeah, what is that? Yeah. I don't not know, but <laughs> apparently gets you on the wave. Yep. That's the main thing, getting out there and having a go. It's a tough 20 minute heat for these young kids. It'll take it out of them. Absolutely, and like some of them have been surfing back to back events and just you know, literally not even taking the rashi off, staying out from one heat to the other. It's a pretty big day, and uh, the day is progressing really well. We are about to start semi-final number two of the Super Groms, and after that heat, we will go into the juniors semi-final number one. So stay tuned uh, for some amazing bodyboarding with the juniors semi-final. Uh, after the two juniors semi-finals, we will see the cadets final, and that will be spectacular to watch as well. So. We're getting to the exciting part of the day uh, when the competitors, the best two competitors from each semi-final will make it through to the final and we will see basically the best competitors of the day competing out here at Chugan Beach in uh, Queensland, Australia on the Gold Coast. Thanks for tuning in, guys. 45 seconds remaining. You can hear Tapper in the background. Currently in the lead, Ryder and Red Hardy Fletcher with a 15.33. That's a big score for a Super Grom. Here he goes again on a cracker. He's got some speed down the line, little cutty. He's gonna link it up right through. Here he goes. Oh, and he's cutting back in. Oh, very well done. 
Very well done for Hardy Fletcher. Um, yeah, great little surfer. 10 years old. Here he goes, the replay. Couldn't quite get over it, but very well ridden. That was a great little finish for him, wasn't it? It was. He's just linking them up and just picking them off. He's just got wave selection and uh, he's got wave selection skills and 